Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are doing well at your home and you are completing the work which is given by me and all other teachers, right? And you are showing the homework on time, okay? So today, students, in this video, we are going to write, uh, uh, like read and write and we will understand the question answers and MCQs of this chapter, all right? So uh, this uh, chapter is about uh, the guide with the poem, right? So we will read the uh, MCQs first, we will find out the answers, okay? So let's see first one what is given. The meaning of on the blue is there. So in the poem we see in the stanza, right? On the blue is there, right? So what is the meaning of on the blue, right? So we'll see over here A of blue color, B with blue colored string, C in the sky or D in the clouds. So our correct answer is C in the sky. Alright. Then second one. How is the kite when it's new? So we have to find out right uh, when the kite is new, how does uh, how it is, right? So A blue, B bright, C tall, D thin. So correct answer is bright. Right in the sense you can say it's very, you know, uh, looks beautiful and wonderful, right? So when the kite is new, it looks very bright, alright? So this is our correct answer, B bright. Then third one, a kite and, sorry, a kite dash and dash uh, when it flies. So here, uh, the poet is asking you the when the kite is flies how does it like uh, you know looks so, or uh, how does it appear all right so a source and tears b budges and nudges c budges and fuzzies and d dips and dabs all right so correct answer over here is dips and dabs dip in the sense you know to like uh, put something uh, very fastly right and dives in the sense like we uh, take the you can say the jump in the like you know water with our arms so here the Poet is saying that uh, like when the new kite flies, it dips and dives. All right. So here he is comparing with the uh, with the uh, you can say that uh, with the sheep. Okay. He is comparing the kite with the sheep. Okay. The, uh, she, uh, the how the sheep dips and dives in the same way the kite when the kite flies, it also dips and dives. Okay. Then com uh, coming to fourth one, kite soars like a or uh, n dash. How does a kite soar? Okay, so it soars like a, a aeroplane, b bird, c ship, d boat. So as we already saw in the poem, right? You know, the poet is comparing the kite with a ship itself. So our correct answer is ship. So it is making a you know sound like a ship. All right. So correct answer is she ship. Then coming to fifth one, kite rides over dash. A waves b tides of winds is a strong string and d houses and trees. So how does the kite rides over okay means uh, how does the kite is riding over okay so here the answer is b tides of wind now uh, the kite is riding over the tides of wind all right so this is our fifth one then coming to next one climb to the crest means dash now here the, uh, it's the uh, you know the group of words are given the phrase is given what does the climb of the crest mean so here a source to the highest point b climb with great speed c goes up and up and d none of this three so our correct answer is source to the highest point so it's like you know the climb to the crest in the sense it's a uh, climbing like a very highest point you can say the peak point okay uh, the the kite is uh, like you know climbing to the and making the sound at the very peak point all right so this is our sixth one the correct answer is a then seventh one, a kite seems to rest when dash. So when does the kite uh, seems like, when does it show that it is taking rest? So A, it reaches its highest point. B, there is strong wind. C, a wind falls. And D, the string snaps. Alright, so correct answer over here is, when the wind gets falls, when the, way, uh, when the wind decreases, the kite seems to take rest. The kite starts to uh, take the rest. Alright, so correct answer is C, wind falls. Alright. Then coming to eighth one, kite goes up when dash. Now when does the kite goes up? Okay, so we'll see the answer. A breeze feel its wings. B string goes slack. C wind falls. And D none of this three. So here, when does your kite uh, start getting upside? You can say when the breeze feel its wings. Breeze in the sense you can say that when there is a, you know lots of wind then uh, which feels its wings, which feels its threads. Okay, so it starts uh, going the upside. Uh, string goes slack. String in the sense that the thread goes uh, loosen. Slack means loosen. Okay, so this is wrong. Uh, wind falls. This is also wrong. And the D, none of this is wrong. Our correct answer is A. 
when the breeze started feeling its wings right so the kite goes very upside all right then a ninth one one of the following pair does not rhyme with each other so we have to find out the a word which does not rhyme with each other rhyme in the sense you know we, we when we read the two words right it gives the last uh, it uh, sounds like a same right it gives the same uh, pronunciation in the end all right so like deep ship okay this is correct blue new this is also correct until fill right until fill so you know the last uh, words uh, sound same it's rhyming words now blows plays now this does not match right so this is our uh, wrong our correct answer over here is d blows and plays these are not the rhyming words so we have to correct the we have to tick mark the d over there then coming to 10th one a rigid thing about a kite is there now what is the you know rigid is what is the unattractive thing about the kite the uh, poet is talking about so uh, options are a that it flies very high b that it gets stuck up in some tree c that it tears out in the sky and d it falls back with the wind so the unattractive thing over the about the kite the uh, poet is talking is uh, it gets stuck up in some tree so you know when, when uh, the flyer you know rides the kite and flies the kite right it gets stuck up means it gets uh, stops over there in some tree like when somebody you know is trying to pull your kite right or it gets uh, suddenly it gets stuck uh, in the tree so this is the rigid thing you can say this is the unattractive thing according to the poet all right then 11th one the poet of the poem the kite is uh, you know variable right the students that our correct answer is b harry ben this is the is the poet of the uh, poem the kite then coming to uh, 12th one see here what does a stuck up kite in the top of a tree do now when the uh, kite gets stuck in the top of the tree what does it do right a it gets torn up b it gets free and disappears c it flaps on a string or d some child stick it up. so now what does uh, it do so it gets torn up means it gets teared up right when the kite gets stuck in the tree it gets teared up so correct answer is a uh, so uh, we'll see the other options also it gets free and disappear means it, it is getting free by the flyer and it's, it disappears means it get uh, like uh, disappearing from the tree no right it flaps on its strings means again it is like you know trying to fly on the uh, on the string no right and some child take it away so you know when the top of the tree uh, the when the kite gets stuck the some child take it so no so correct answer is a it gets torn out all right now in question number 2 complete the uh, incomplete sentences okay that you have to do it on your own you have to read the uh, stanzas one line is given over there you have to find out from your reader and you have to write over there all right so you will get the uh, answer from the stanza first you have to read the uh, question 2 to 3 times you will get you have to search it in your reader from the poem and you have to write all right then third one what is the next one given uh, that we have to do comprehension question answer all right so you read very short answer type questions and we'll see the answers okay so how does a kite look when it's new as you already uh, discussed in the uh, in the mcq in first one right you know the kite looks bright when it on the sky when it's new so you already know the answer about it you know the kites look very you can say bright you can say beautiful right when it is new then when do we find a kite tail snapping so when do we find you know the kite uh, kite tail is snapping means it's making a sound okay so when the kite dips and dives the tail of the kite makes a snapping sound sound so here the poet is saying when the kite is you know is like uh, dips and dives okay so the tail of the kite makes a snapping sound so it's making a one kind of a sound when you know fly the kite in the sky right so here the poet is asking about the how the kite is making the snapping sound all right then coming to next one here the third one is given which movement of the kite is compared to a ship's sailing now here the poet is asking you the which movement of the kite is compared to the ship all right so first you have to write from the question itself so we have to begin in this way the movement of the tailless kite is compared to a ship sailing all right so you have to write only two words in the answer before movement you have to write the and after uh, the in the next the you have to write tailless okay so in this way you have to complete your answer the movement of the tailless kite is compared with ship sailing all right 
then fourth one when does a kite pull okay now when do we uh, pull the kite right so here the kite pulls forward when the wind is strong all right when the, you know the wind, the wind is strong right when there is a lots of breeze the kite like moves or uh, you can say the pulls forward right it goes upward and upward so this is our correct answer right a kite pulls forward when the wind is strong all right then fifth one uh, what do we do when the string goes slack so now what do we do you know string means that thread of the uh, kite slack in the sense it get loosen okay what do we do when the string goes slack right so first you write from the question itself when the string goes slack okay first you write from the question after uh, when you to write the and you to make uh, w capital in the when all right and after slack you to put the comma over there okay the flyer rolls the string back okay so uh, you you first you write from the question and then you write from the line itself the flyer rolls back the string so the when the thread you can say the uh, goes the loose and the flyer flyer means the person who is flying the kite it rolls back the string okay then sixth one what is mentioned as a regular theme now in the poem the kite what which is that thing which is regular you can say which is the thing which is very unattractive all right so we'll see the answer kite becomes raged when it is entangled in the branches of the tree it flutters its wings to get free sometimes it is torn all right so here poet is saying you know kite becomes raged raged means unattractive you know when it gets entangled you know when it gets stuck in the tree and the kite is trying to you know flutter its wings it's trying to get out of the uh, tree and uh, to get free like it needs to you know come out of the tree and again needs to fly but sometimes it's torn sometimes it's get uh, you know torn out means sometimes it's get uh, teared up when the kite is uh, torn out we cannot again uh, you know like fly it in the sky so this is our short question answers now we'll see the again uh, second one uh, short answer type questions okay first one describe the flight of a kite as described in the poem so here here we have to describe about the you know uh, flight of the kite you can say the journey of the kite which is described in the poem so here we will see the answer a new kite looks bright in the blue sky it takes flung and bends it makes a cracking sound with its tail the kite goes up in the sky as the breeze blows again but it's this playful kite is badly torn when it gets stuck in the branches of a tree so here the poet is saying you know a new kite is look very good in uh, in the sky when it's uh, you know flies for the first time like right? it takes a uh, deep sand uh, dives means it takes plong and bend okay it makes a very cracking sound like a sheep and it goes up also in the sky and it, when the when there is a, a wind but there is one thing that you know when there is a less wind or when the kite gets stuck in the tree okay so uh, it gets stuck in the branches of the tree and sometimes it gets a uh, torn up I means sometimes the kite is a uh, it's a uh, teared out right so we cannot then again uh, fly that kite and right? now that's the unattractive thing for the according to the poet then second one what happens to a kite when wind falls so so when the wind falls when the wind falls back what happened to the kite you see the answer it rises over the strong winds and climbs to the top like a ship but as the wind falls it also rests for a while so when there is a wind there is a breeze you know the kite is flying upside all right in the top of the tree and it's uh, it's been compared with the ship like it's uh, like you know flying like a a uh, ship is taking a deep and dive but when there is a you know a uh, wind falls when there is a less wind and less breeze right so it also take a rest now the kite also uh, starts taking a rest and it uh, it flies it it decreases the speed of the uh, you know flying the kite okay so here it is uh, number 2 then coming to third one describe a kite's journey and its fate so here we have to describe about the uh, kite's journey okay how the poet is uh, describing about the kite and its fate in the sense its destiny we have to uh, describe okay so we'll read the answer see the kite begins its journey and takes a dive its tail makes a snapping sound the poet says that uh, we all value the kite only uh, till it is able to fly in the sky 
he mentions that a raised kite uh, whose string has been cut off by the branch of a tree or by another kite has rolled in. So here, the, you know, the poet is uh, trying to tell us that you know when there is a new kite, you know everyone is happy to have a new kite and they uh, likes when when they, uh, they fly it in the sky. And it also takes a deep uh, and dive, right? And it makes a sound like a like a ship, okay? And it, uh, the poet also says that we all value the kite when it's new. But uh, and it's able to fly in the sky, right? But there is one thing, right? That is uh, on a tricky thing. That when uh, when the string becomes a uh, cut off, when the suddenly your thread of the you know kite becomes cut off, somebody cuts it by the by the branch or somebody else uh, cut it. Okay, so here uh, that kite doesn't have any value, right? Because once it gets cut off and it it, it is been torn out, right? It is so nobody ha uh, values that kite, like right? So here. The poet is explaining about how the new kite is being uh, used and it is been appreciated and how the kite which, which is been stuck in the tree or it is been cut off by any other you know flyer so it doesn't have any value right so this is our third one coming to the stanza point on the next page so you have to read this stanza and you have to find out the answers all right so uh, I'll explain this uh, first one over here. How does a new kite fly? So, uh, we have to write first from the question, a new kite flies. So, in spite of fly, we will write flies and like a wave. Okay, the waves of the ocean or so seas, it flies like a waves of the ocean. Alright, then, what is the kite compared to? So, we already see, uh, so in the poem, right, the poet is comparing the kite with the ship. So, first we will write from the question, the kite then has been compared to the sheep. Alright. Then next one. What end of the kite is mentioned in the stanza? So in the stanza uh, we have to see that uh, what they are mentioning about the kite. Okay. So when the wind falls, the kite also rests for a while. Is mentioned in the last stanza of the of this uh, of the kite of this poem. Alright. So we'll write the answer. When the wind falls, comma the kite also rests for a why? All right. Then coming to second stanza, you have to read that, and okay, you have to write the answer over there. So, when do we uh, we wind up string? Now, when do we like the person who's flying the like, kite, the flyer? When do we uh, you know we wind up the string? So here the answer is given in the stanza. Look over here. This is your answer, which I have taken marked over here. When string goes slack, slack means when the string, you can say thread of the uh, kite goes slack, means it gets loosened, okay. In spite of you, you will write V, V wind it back, right. So, when the, the thread of the kite, you can say gets a loosened, means we like, you know, try to wind it back. So, this is your answer. Then, second one, what is the meaning of the pairs on the blue? So here again the answer asked the repeated question. All right, we'll write the answer again. On the blue is the first meaning is they are talking about the sky. Okay, in the kite, uh, new kite flies. Right. So on the blue means here they are talking about the about the sky. So we'll write the answer. The meaning of on the meaning of the pairs on the blue. First you write from the question and then from the line itself is in the sky. Okay. And the last one, what is rajidar according to, according to the poet? Now, according to the poet, what, is, what does the rajidar mean? Okay. So, first we will write from the question, according to the poet, comma, rajidar means unattractive, right? So, here the rajidar is mentioned for the kite, okay? So, when the kite uh, gets torn out, when it gets stuck in the tree, okay? So, it's like a rajidar thing, it's a very unattractive thing, okay? So, here the poet mentions rajidar for the kite, alright? So, this you have to write everything in your workbook and you have to show me. Alright friends, so as of now we are doing up to here only. So please you complete with the good handwriting in your uh, book and you stay home, stay safe. Like and uh, like com complete all the work which is given by all the teachers. Alright, so we will see you in the next video. Alright friends, thank you.